Hey guys, Mediocre Musician here, and I wanted to do a quick video on a topic that might be confusing for some beginner guitarists. Specifically, what does the term short scale guitar mean? What does the term 12 fret guitar mean? Are these the same things? Admittedly, this was even something that I was confused about early on. For a while, I was incorrectly referring to 12 fret guitars as, quote, short scale guitars. I assumed because they had 12 frets and, and shorter necks, they were short scale guitars, when in fact, a guitar's scale length and its number of frets are mutually exclusive. That means just because a guitar has 12 frets, it's not a short scale and vice versa. You can have 14 fret short scale guitars, you can have 12 fret regular scale guitars. So what do all these terms mean? Let's start with the easy one first. When someone says a 12 fret guitar or a 14 fret guitar, what they're referring to is the number of frets from the nut to the top of the guitar body, right? The number of exposed frets here. Most guitars these days have 14 frets. Here's an example of a Yamaha Dreadnought guitar, uh, but some compact and classic guitars often have 12. This is uh, the Recording King uh, parlor size guitar. Okay, so now let's move on to scale length. What is scale length? The scale length of a guitar is the distance measured from the nut to the bridge. So another way that a guitar manufacturer can control a guitar's size is by using a shorter scale length. This means that the frets themselves are more compact, smaller, and closer together. There's advantages and disadvantages. When the frets are closer together, it might make holding chords easier. When you have a little more room, that might be more suitable for finger style, as an example. Here's a comparison of the 14 fret FG700S next to the 12 fret RPH05 Parlor. Notice that even though the RPH05 is much smaller, their scale lengths are relatively equal due to the positioning of the bridge on the guitar. Okay, so we've talked about the number of frets and we've talked about scale length. So what is a short scale guitar? Well, this is where it gets tricky because there's no standard definition of short scale. That is to say, different manufacturers have different scale lengths that they call short scale guitars. So it really depends on who you're talking to. When someone says a short scale guitar, it's not necessarily a clear indication of what that guitar may or may not look like. I'd say the general rule of thumb is that anything less than about 25 and 4 tenths inches scale is considered a short scale guitar. I'm sure many people argue with me here. Certainly anything less than 25 could be considered a short scale. But again, the term short scale isn't as meaningful as the actual scale length of the guitar. Anyway, I hope this clears up any confusion. Again, I know this was something that confused me early on, so I wanted to pass this along in hopes that it would help others out there. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full write-up uh, with more information and photos, check out the link right over here. It brings a smile to my face every time I get a new subscriber. It means a lot to me. So please, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And please feel free to check out some of my other videos if you haven't already down below. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.